some little tiny girl corsages. Our girls range in age from five years old up until about the age of 13. And so um, we have different sized little girls. So we're gonna work on some wristlet corsages and a couple of boutonnieres. So I'm gonna show you how to, how to glue a corsage and how to wire and tape a boutonniere. When you come on, please tell us hello, how you're doing, where you're from. We love to know all those things. My Victoria is here and she is going to be monitoring both our Facebook Live and our YouTube Live. Um, so if you have any questions, be sure to ask those questions. We'd love to try to answer them um, or any comments. We love those too. I'm starting out with a traditional this is my favorite wristlet to make a wrist corsage on it is um, this is just a little elastic band it fits most arms really well um, like you have to stretch it to put it on my arm but then it stays it stays in place really well okay I'm gonna show you how we will take this wristlet and make it a little smaller for tiny little girls so what I'm gonna do is there is a seam in this elastic and that seam is right here so I just pulled it up and I am going to take number 28 wire so 28 wire is the gauge it's a 28 gauge wire I took my scissors and I cut it and I am going to cinch this bracelet so I'm just going to use this wire and push it through that that elastic and I am just going to take it and twist it. Do we need to zoom in on me so that you can see it a little closer? Okay. You're not gonna see my face, but you're gonna see what I'm doing with my hands. So what I did was I took and I cinched um, that bracelet there and I'm gonna take my scissors and I don't know if actually on your video if it's um, showing it zoomed in, is it? Yeah, this one just running by. Okay, it's lagging a little bit. Okay, so I took that um, little bracelet and I cinched it. So you can see how it's got little, like a little cinch there. So this little bracelet's gonna fit that baby girl's arm. I'm going to take and use my scissors and I'm gonna cut off that little bit of um, elastic there. And now I'm just going to glue my flowers right there on top. But I've just made that bracelet just a little bit smaller for that baby girl's arm. We don't want these flowers to run around and around her arm. And so, I don't know, we're too close, I think, Victoria. You're good, you just can't hold it up above you. Okay, so I, am I good? <laughs> Can you see me? I am struggling this day. Okay, so I'm going to take this little bracelet and I am going to use some Oasis Floral Adhesive. So Oasis Floral Adhesive is made specifically for um, flowers um, and wrist corsages, corsages and any kind of floral work that you have to wire um, that you would glue. This is made specifically for flowers, and I have found that the Oasis brand is the very best brand because we've used lots of brands um, when we couldn't find it, and Oasis is the best. I'm gonna take this glue, I'm going to open it up, and I am going to put a little bit of glue right here on top of this bracelet. And I'm gonna set it to the side I just put the glue right there on top of that, um, on top of that little, I don't even know what you call that, disc. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a tiny little bow to go into that glue. So this is a little iridescent ribbon. The wonderful part about iridescent ribbon is it's going to pick up whatever color her little dress is. So I'm taking, this is the front of the ribbon, I'm holding it with my thumb and my forefinger and I'm gonna make a loop and I'm gonna twist and make a loop and you can see how tiny this is. Twist, a loop, twist, a loop. 
So it's got four total loops with that type of ribbon. I'm going to cut it with my scissors. And then I'm going to take the second type of ribbon. I'm going to lay it right on the back of that ribbon. Make a loop, twist, loop, twist, loop, twist, loop. Okay, so there's a total of four loops on each side. And that's, and I've got the worst scissors that you that we have in the flower shop. So that is four total loops on each side. Okay, I'm going to take my number 21 gauged wire. I'm laying it right there up underneath my thumb. And I'm going to tie that bow off with that wire. And I'm just twisting, twisting, twisting. Next, what I'm going to do is fluff my bow. So I'm taking that ribbon and I'm just going to fluff that bow. Um, for everyone who's concerned that you can't see Marnie's head, that is intentional. Um, it is so you can see which, since she's doing such tiny corsages, it's to see her hands better. Do you think if you pulled out that you could see, you couldn't see it? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, you see the glue that's right here on this disc? I'm going to take my bow and I'm going to press it right to that glue. Now it takes a minute for that glue to set up. When I say a minute, it really takes about, it takes a few minutes for it to set up. It's kind of like a, um, what is it? Kind of like that cement, that rubber cement is basically what that glue is. Um, and so it takes a few minutes for it to set up. So you saw me put the glue on to the disc and, um, and let it sit there for a few minutes. It's because it takes a few minutes to set up. All right, I'm gonna set that down and my bow is almost adhered. It takes a little while. Next, what we're gonna do is take our roses. So I'm working with tiny little white rose buds. Um, Dawn Miller asks, about what age is the little girl for this corsage? I think that this is a six-year-old, Miss Dawn. Um, okay, so these are little tiny white rose buds. They're spray roses. And so I am going to cut three little, little flowers off the stem, okay? So I cut their little flowers off, the, off their stems. I'm gonna set these to the side. Now I'm gonna take and remove any of the petals that are bumped or bruised, and I'm gonna throw those away, but I'm just taking and removing any of those petals that are bumped or bruised. And then I'm gonna show you, this is the calyx. So the calyx is the little swollen part of the flower of the rose. You often see me use the calyx. I wire through that calyx, so it's that little swollen part. I'm gonna take my scissors and I am going to cut that calyx so that it's more of a flat surface there. I'm gonna take my glue, and this is Oasis Floral Adhesive Glue, and I'm going to add just a little bit of glue to where I cut that calyx in half. So I don't know if you can see that well. And I'm just going to set that rose kind of right down and let that glue set up for a second. I'm going to do the same thing to all three of my roses. I add a little bit of glue to each one. And I'm removing any of those little petals that are bumped or bruised. Take that, cut that little calyx in half. And really, the only reason you're doing that is because it makes this little, um, the end of that flower, a little flatter. Okay, so I'm going to just let those sit for just a second. The one that I glued first, that I added the glue to first, it's kind of, you can see a little haze over it. I'm going to take my, my bow, and I'm just kind of opening up the bow, and I'm sticking that first rose right there in the very center of that bow. I don't know if you can see that well. Can you see it, Victoria? Mm -hmm. You can? Okay. I'm gonna take the second rose. I'm gonna move that ribbon 
and I'm going to tuck that second rose right down in. And then I'm going to take the third rose and I'm going to do the same. Tuck that right down in there. And then I'm just going to hold them with my fingers until it takes, I mean, it takes a minute or two. Miss Sudine says you have the patience of Job. With this, with this, <laughs> I really don't, Miss Sudine. I really, really don't. This is hard to me. Corsages and boutonnieres to me are kind of like arts and crafts or painting. Um, it just, it's hard. I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of patience. This is very much a Callie thing. Callie loves corsages and boutonnieres because Callie can sit down and be still. And I don't, I'm not a very still person. I don't know if you could figure that out about me at all, but you know, I don't, I'm not steel. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is this is some of that gun eye uke. Um, you've seen us work with this um, throughout the week. I'm going to take this gun eye uke. The wonderful part about it is it's tiny and it's delicate. So you can see it's tiny little pieces. So I'm going to take several little pieces and I'm going to cut them off the stem. Uh -huh. I'm gonna try. It's a little bright, I think, on okay. the roses, so I'm gonna. They're gonna see it. Are you gonna see my face a little bit so that they can see me? Well, maybe I can't change it. Okay. Okay. So I have cut up some little greenery, and then I've got a little tiny bit of baby's breath. Can you see me? Are um, we working? You still? No. I don't think I can change the adjust the brightness well. Okay. So keep going. Yeah. Okay. So I have some baby's breath. So this is just a little piece of the baby's breath that I have just taken and cut into tiny little pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my greenery and I'm going to pull a little bit of the pieces of greenery off. I'm gonna take my, my Oasis glue and I'm just putting it right there on the end of that greenery. And then I'm gonna take and tuck this greenery right down into that corsage. And I didn't cut my stem short enough. My stem's too long, so I'm gonna cut it And I'm gonna try that one more time. I had my stem too long, so I cut it, added a little glue, and I'm just tucking that right into that little arrangement. Um, Dawn Miller asks, if you did artificial flowers, do you use the same type of glue? I don't, Dawn. If I'm using artificial flowers, I'll use hot glue. Um, hot glue, uh, I mean, this glue would be fine. It would work fine. This glue is just hard to come by, and artificial flowers are not going to be bothered by the hot glue. The hot glue is not going to hurt an artificial flower, whereas hot glue will hurt a fresh flower. And so I would use hot glue when working with artificial flowers um, and use this floral adhesive glue for fresh just because this is made specifically for fresh now it would certainly work for for artificial too I mean you could certainly use it but I just find it's hard to come by and it's costly and so it's better to use it what it's made for so I'm just taking these pieces and I'm cutting little tiny pieces I'm adding just a touch of glue And I am just taking that greenery and just tucking it right down into that corsage. Um, the Easley's on YouTube. They want to see your face while we They do want it. to see my face. <laughs> it's, it's, it feels more, I don't know, I'm like you. I feel more comfortable with you seeing my face. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, yeah, scan, zoom out. That's fine. I just hate it for you not to be able to see the little fine details. You can absolutely zoom out, yes. So I'm just taking that greenery and using a pair of scissors, and I am just trimming that greenery up. You can see how tiny that little stem is. I'm adding just a touch of that glue. 
and I'm just tucking it right down into that arrangement. So I'm going to hold that up for you so you can kind of see it. So you see how it's got its little greenery. Next we're going to come in and we're going to add some little baby's breath. And you can add as much greenery or as little greenery as you would like. Again, these are for little bitty girls. They're not for big girls. They're for little girls. So, bigger is not better here. I took my baby's breath. So, my baby's breath comes on a stem like this. So you see it has lots of baby's breath on the stem. I took my baby's breath and I cut off just a tiny little piece of that baby's breath. I'm going to take that little tiny stem and I'm just adding just a touch, and I just dripped it on my table, but just a touch of that glue. Now you can see how that glue kind of gets on the tip of that, of that um, tube. I'm taking that and I'm just tucking that baby's breath right down into that arrangement. Now I dripped a little bit of that glue here on my on my table, so I'm just going to actually take this baby's breath and just dip it right into the glue that dripped. You can see it's right there on that baby's breath. I'm going to take that and just tuck that right in. Now some people get concerned about using this glue, let me tell you, you're not going to have any issues with these flowers falling apart. We have had to take them apart before because we did the wrong color or what have you. It takes a lot of force to get them apart. So they don't, we've not had any issues with Oasis Floral Glue coming apart. So don't be concerned about that. It, it, they really stay together. Okay. So I added that little baby's breath to that wristlet. So you can see how it's just a sweet little wristlet for a little girl. I'm gonna do it one more time. And I'm gonna do it with a pink one that Callie, Callie has already tied the bow for me. So it's going, we're gonna do it exactly the same. And then we will do a boutonniere for you and show you how to wire and tape a boutonniere. So I'm going to take a few of my blooms. Now you have to be careful when working with white roses. White roses tend to show bumps and bruises easier than other colors. And I'm not, I guess white just shows those bumps and bruises. Um, everything going okay? You got any questions? I know you have a lot of hello. Hello, hello everybody, hello. I'm so glad y'all are here with us to this afternoon. And I'm sorry about all the technical difficulties. I promise one of these days we're gonna get this right. It's just taking practice. So what I'm doing here is I'm removing any of the little rose petals that don't look pretty. So I'm just coming in and removing some of those guard petals and a couple of these little petals have a little a little bump so i'm just removing them um sweet briar asks if you are using a regular one size fits all wristlet this is a regular one size fits all and if you go back sweet briar if you didn't watch the very first of this video um i showed you how to cinch that wristlet band so that it would fit a baby girl um, I just took it and I took a 28 gauge wire, which is that real um, tiny wire that we use for corsages and boutonnieres. I took that gauge wire and I just cinched that band and then trimmed it off. Um, this band is for, this this little wristlet is for, her. this little girl is a little older than this little girl is. So her bow is a little larger, um, but it's not a whole lot different. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna start out with my largest rosebud. I'm gonna take my scissors and I am just trimming that calyx where it just kind of makes it more of a flat surface there. I'm gonna take my floral glue and I need, I'm need. i gonna take my garbage can and use my garbage bag to wipe off that glue off the tip. Now when you get this glue on you, it takes a little bit to get it off. Um, like I said, it's kind of like a rubber cement, and so it takes a little bit to get off. It's not fun when you get it on you, but it's not the end of the world. I'm going to take my glue and dab just a tiny bit of glue 
onto that rosebud, just right there onto that calyx that I cut. I'm gonna set that rosebud there and let it sit for just a second while I add glue to the other roses. Now what that's doing is helping that glue to cure. Um, Sweetbriar says, I'll watch, thank you. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. But I, I really like that one size fits all um, elastic band the very best. I have found to me, even with big girls, that is the best fitting band for anybody, any, any size young lady who is going to wear a wristlet. Um, that's just the best band. You can guarantee it's not going to run around and around that little wrist. Um, it's going to stay in place. Um, whether you're grown or you're tiny, they just fit the best. Okay, after I have let that, that glue cure for just a second, I'm going to take that first rosebud, and I don't know if you can see the center of, um, of that little bow, but Callie has already tied the bow and glued it to this wristlet. I'm just going to set this little rosebud right there in the very center of that bow. I'm going to lay it back down, Whoop, and I flipped a rose, so I'm going to glue it to the table. Um, Miss Sharon says hello, Monty and Victoria, on this beautiful Thursday. Hello, Miss Sharon. Thank you for being here. Miss Sue Dean says you are amazing. Oh, you just love me, Miss Sue. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Um, Sweetbriar says if you spray some plant shine on a cloth, it takes the glue off. Just be sure to wash your hands right away. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much for telling me that. Thank you, thank you. Because I have, ne I never think about that. I know it'll take paint off, but I never thought about the glue. Okay, so I took those three tiny rosebuds and I just kind of glued them in a little line right there, okay? Takes a few minutes for it to cure, so you don't want to be um, <laughs> shaking it around because it is going to come loose. So I um, have my rosebuds in place. Next, I'm going to come in with this little eucalyptus. And I threw it on the floor. So I'm taking my scissors and I am just cutting tiny little pieces of eucalyptus, just like that. Every time I work with eucalyptus, there's one of our followers that said she can't do eucalyptus and I think, oh my goodness, she couldn't have an arrangement from us mm -hmm. because that's all we work with. Linda says, you do such great work. You are so talented. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. All right, so I cut some tiny little pieces. So they're tiny, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly like I did over here with the white one. I'm going to take my glue and add just a tiny bit of glue to that stem. And I am just going to tuck it right in to those roses. And this is a little bit tedious. I personally am a florist that would prefer to wire and tape everything that I do because it's quick. I can do it very fast. Where this is time consuming and it, you have to wait on the glue. So it, it just takes a little more time. But I found back when there was no glue to be found that this really makes a beautiful presentation and I really like the way these corsages look versus a wired and tape corsage when it comes to dances. Um, Dawn Miller asks, when you wire a, a corsage, you bend the metal on the side to hold the flowers. Do you bend them back before you glue the flowers on? I don't. I just leave them flat. Now, I noticed where Callie took hers and bent hers. So Callie, I'll show you, I'll come closer to the camera, but Callie did take the prongs and bend hers. With mine, I didn't. Um, I probably should have. But with mine, I didn't. I didn't bend those prongs. It's absolutely up to you. You can bend them. It's not gonna hurt it if you don't. Um, yes, you're right. When you do a wired and taped corsage, you actually use those prongs to catch that um, corsage that you've wired and taped. With this, everything's glued 
directly to that metal disc. So you don't have any issues with, um, you, it's not necessary. Those little prongs aren't necessary. Okay, so I've got my greenery um, glued down into that corsage. Next, I'm gonna take my little bit of baby's breath. And you cut it so tiny, I mean, it's so tiny. So I'm just gonna take my little glue, add it to the end of that baby, to the stem of that baby's breath, and I'm just gonna tuck that right into that corsage. Now with these daddy daughter dances, we're not doing anything real fancy. Nothing goes real fancy with them. It's, um, it's just the greenery, the baby's breath, and the pretty little ribbon. We don't do all the rhinestones and all the fancy stuff like we might with prom. Most of the time, these baby girls are wearing church dresses, so they don't need anything too blingy. All right, so there's our little baby's breath in our pink corsage, and then there is our little white corsage, okay? So let's show you how to make Daddy's Boutonniere, or the Boutonnieres for the dads. So I'm gonna take another couple of rosebuds and I am actually going to leave the stems on these rosebuds, okay? I'm throwing stuff on the floor over here. Miss Mary Lou says, hello, ladies. Hello, Miss Mary Lou. Welcome, welcome. We're glad you're here. Okay, so I have um, just three little rosebuds. I have a tiny bud, a medium bud, and then the actual little rose flower, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, very fine wire, now the only time I use 28 gauge wire is for corsages and boutonnieres. I'm gonna take those rosebuds and I'm gonna remove any of the petals that have bumps or bruises. And so I left my stem, you can see it's probably an inch or so, maybe a little less. I'm gonna take my piece of wire that is very fine, it's kinda of hard to see, but it's very fine. I'm gonna take that wire and I'm gonna run it through this little swollen um, part of the rose, which is called the calyx of the rose. I'm just running that wire all the way through until the rose is actually right in the middle of my wire. I don't know if you can see that, but it's right in the middle of that wire. I'm gonna take that wire and I'm gonna bend it down. So it's, it's going right around that stem. Now let me explain to you the importance of wiring and taping a rose when you use it for a boutonniere or a corsage. What this wire does is it holds this head onto this stem. It is not going, it, it's not gonna fall off because it actually has three stems now. It has the two pieces of wire and the center stem that the rose is actually on. I'm gonna take my tape and I'm going to lay it right here at the top of that flower. Okay, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's laid right there at the top of that flower. I'm gonna pinch that tape. Just gonna kind of pinch it. I'm gonna pinch it and twist. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling that wire down, I mean pulling that tape down that wire to get it to coat that wire. So I just coated that wire with this florist tape. Now florist tape is actually a paper tape that is infused with a little bit of wax. So it sticks together. It sticks to that, um, to that wire. Now I'm gonna do it two more times, so we'll get it. Do I need to step closer? I know, I, I think that, you know, when it shuts off, I think I'm, I'm just gonna do it real fast. So there's gonna be a dark screen. Okay. But Okay. We should be back to normal. Are we back? There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Do I need to step closer so that they can see it? Sure so they can it. see what I'm doing? And you have a couple questions. Okay, ask. Um, John Miller asks, or she says, I see your little boxes. How do you, how do you display your corsage in them? I'll show you, Miss Dawn. Okay, am I so, so close? Um. I know you can't see my head, but I'm gonna show you. So this 
is, see that little swollen part of that rose? That is called the calyx, okay? This is my florist wire, and I am going to take this wire and I'm gonna press it all the way through that calyx. Can you see it at all, Victoria, on there? I think it's a little blurry. I'll come out a little. I think. Okay, so that wire is the head of the, the um, rose is in the center of that wire. I'm gonna take that wire and I'm gonna bend it down So it's on each side of that stem. I don't know if you can see that at all. Okay, now I'm gonna take this paper tape. We call it corsage tape. I'm not sure if that's the real name. Name of corsage, it's corsage tape, right? Okay, I'm gonna take this tape and I'm just going to lay it right there on top of that, right on top of that stem. And I'm gonna twist it around and I'm gonna hold it tight just kind of twist it so it sticks. And I'm gonna take that tape and I'm pulling it downward and just steady twisting that stem. John says, yes, I can see you wire the rose. Okay, good, good, good. So I'm just taping that stem with that tape. Um, Natalie asks if you ever use wax flower or limonium. I don't use limonium. I don't love the smell of cassia. Wax flower we do use, but it's hard to come by. We don't get it as often. Can you see my face again now, Victoria? I think you can. Okay, so I wired and taped two stems and I'm gonna do the last stem just the same way. I'm running that wire right through. Todd King, why are you acting foolish? Okay, okay, I'm wiring, running that wire bending it down. Now the reason you have to, and I will tell you a dozen, trillion, thousand, million times, that's a lot of times, wire and tape your rosebuds or anything you put in a corsage or boutonniere. And let me tell you why. When you go to stick that, um, stick that little boutonniere pin into that flower, if it is not wired, his head is going to fall off. So you're gonna take this little pin and you're gonna stick it right into the flower stem. And what that's going to do is cause that head to fall off. Well, that's terrible. You just wasted your time by not wiring it and your head fell off, okay? So always wire and tape. Next, what I'm going to do is I am going to stagger these roses. I'm taking the smallest bud the medium bud, and then the large bud. So I'm just kind of staggering it. Largest is at the bottom, medium is in the middle, the smallest is at the top. So I just kind of staggered those little rose buds, just like that. I'm gonna take my tape, and I'm going to tape all three of those stems together. And you just twist and pull, twist and pull, twist and pull. That takes practice, just like doing a bow, but you'll get it, I promise. There is the three rosebuds taped together. Next, we're going to take a little bit of that same type of greenery, that little gun I uke. Don Miller asks if you're using 18 gauge wire. Actually, it's 28 gauge. So the smaller the, um, the, the diameter of the wire, the smaller the diameter of the wire, the larger the number. So when I looked on the box, this is 28 gauge. So I'm gonna take this eucalyptus and I'm gonna strip down some of those leaves. And I'm just kind of laying them, laying them together just like that, okay? I'm gonna actually just put them right there on the back of this little boutonniere. I'm gonna take my tape I'm gonna tape it again. So you're probably gonna tape four times. Tape, 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 tape. And that's okay, because that just means it's gonna to stay together. But you see how much faster this goes when I wire and tape versus gluing. Okay, so there's my little greenery. Now we're gonna put just a little bit of baby's breath onto this boutonniere. So I'm just gonna take, cut a little tiny piece of baby's breath. Uh, Melissa Flores says, hi, Monty. Hello, sweet friend. 
Um, and Ryan Schmidt says, great to catch you live. Hello from snowy Middleton, Wisconsin. Doing fine. So glad you're here, Ryan. Thank you for watching. So I took that baby's breath and I just kind of laid it on the front of that, right there underneath the larger rosebud. I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to tape it again. Just wrap it around and pull and wrap and pull and wrap and pull and wrap. So there is our little boutonniere, okay? I'm going to take some scissors because I don't have, yeah, I have wire snips. I'm going to take my wire snips and I'm just going to snip off that bottom piece of the, of the, of the wire. And I'm going to take just a little black headed pin. So our, we like to use little black headed boutonniere pins. And I'm just going to take and just stick that right into that stem. I often use two pins in a boutonniere and two pins in a corsage. And let me tell you the reason, because sometimes the little head will come off the pin. If the head comes off the pin, then you can't, it's hard to use that pin. So I like to add two boutonniere pins for safety. Um, but there's our little boutonniere. And here is our sweet little corsage. The corsage will go on baby girl's wrist and the little boutonniere will be pinned on dad's jacket. And so there are our flowers for the daddy-daughter dance. There's our little pink one. I like the pink one though. Mm -hmm. The pink one's so pretty and sweet. Yeah. But it'll just, so this one did not get cinched, so it just slides right onto her arm and so it'll just sit right there on her little wrist and there we have it anybody got any more questions I, don't think so. oh, I am so sorry that that was a little bit of a fiasco today guys <laughs> some days are, are easier than others right so with this um, let me tell you a little trick, and I don't have any in here. A little trick about this, um, this glue. If you will take your green glow or plant shine and hit and just kind of spray this little no nozzle of the glue, if you'll spray it with a little bit of that plant shine, what it is is it's, it's kind of a, an oil that keeps this glue from sticking, and then you can add your lid back on, and it doesn't stick to the little nozzle of the glue. What a blessing. Because <laughs> if you've ever had it stick, it's you have to use your teeth to get it off. Um, but just take a tiny bit of plant shine and spray it on there, and it works wonders. Um, guys, thank you so much for being here with us this afternoon. If you have any questions oh, about... Yes, sorry. you got Miss one? Dawn wants to know how you display them in the box. Oh, let me show you. Okay, Miss Dawn, these boxes... I ordered from Amazon. Actually, they are little bitty cupcake boxes. You can buy them on Amazon. And I, so with COVID, you know, with COVID, we've had a hard time buying supplies. Supplies are just hard to come by. Vases are hard to come by. This Oasis glue is hard to come by. Um, we even had a hard time getting this um, corsage tape, which was a struggle. So I've got way more, um, Way more rolls back there than I would probably use in our lifetime. We have had a hard time keeping corsage boxes also. Years and years and years that I have been in the floral industry, I've always used a clear corsage box. Um, it's a plastic clear corsage box to put my corsages and boutonnieres in. I can't find those. Give me two seconds. Let me walk in here and I'm going to show you what we put in the bottom of the box and how we tie it up so you can see how we present it. Thank you all for watching today and for sticking through everything. We're still trying to figure out all this new equipment that we got. So this is a little, I think it's a four by four um, square box. Um, we bought them on Amazon for, I mean, a few cents a box. They're not very expensive. I like to take the um, the brown craft um, crinkle paper or crink, we call it, we call it Fufu here at our flower shop. And Fufu is not its real name. I think it's shred, paper shred. Um, but it kind of looks like Fufu. Anyway, um, 
which is a funny name. I just tuck it down in the bottom of the box and then I will lay my little corsage and if we have a boutonniere, so we have daddy's boutonniere, I tuck them side by side in that little box. We take it and we fold in the, the sides, if I can get it to go in there. So you can actually see the flowers in the top there. I like to use a little piece of raffia or raffia, however you like to say it. You know, in the South, we say everything funny. So we use a little piece of raffia and I come around that box. And then we tie just a little shoestring bow. Um, the Lyrical Lily says, I find mine clear corsage boxes at Hobby Lobby. Really? Really? Yes. Well, you know, I had a hard time finding them. They were expensive. And so I have found like these are less than, I think these are less than 20 cents a box. Um, and I think they're just as pretty of a presentation. So I just tie it closed with that little piece of raffia. Now this easily slides off. So if you need to open it up and show, um, show your customer what the corsage looks like, you certainly can. But this is just a pretty display. Um, we also put our little card on the box that says flowers by the bunch, just so they know where it came from. But um, we have found we really like this better than the plastic boxes. And um, we're, we can display other things besides corsages and boutonnieres in them. Um, we sell fresh baked cookies sometimes, and so we tuck a few cookies in there in these little boxes, and it works perfectly. But there's our little presentation. That's how we send them out. Um, the Lyrical Lily says, yes, they're pricey. I may try to find your box. I tell you, I will link it for you um, in our, down below. I'll link these little boxes. They're wonderful. Um, I mean, we have really, really gotten to where we just love them. And they're easy to um, store. So they come in flat. And so all you have to do is fold them, you know, and put them together. Um, not very hard to put together. They sit so good. They have a good flat square bottom. You know, those plastic um, containers have like a funny little bottom. They don't sit as, as well. Um, but we, we've really, really liked these. We've probably used these for probably a year now since we couldn't find the plastic boxes. I could find the boutonniere boxes, but I struggled to find the corsage boxes, and so these have worked out perfectly. They're saying they loved the video. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. thank you, thank you guys. Thank you so much for being here with us this afternoon. I hope you have a wonderful evening. If you have any questions or suggestions for videos you'd like to see, don't hesitate to drop that in the comments below, and we will see you all tomorrow. Thank you so much.